welcome back to my YouTube channel guys, KKC Productions here. And today you can see this is a different type of video that I'm doing. This is for my Java 1 class in Gwinnett Technical College. And I am doing a um, live stream screencast of my program and what I've coded for my music player. This is the final project for it. And let's start off by looking at some of the code that I've written in it, and then we can start it up to see what it looks like. Some of the items in here, they don't work fully and correctly, but for the point, it is up and it works. And maybe uh, at the end I'll give out some more tips on some of the stuff that I wish I would have did at the end, and some other topics. So here we can have at the top it shows all my information about the program it's very short but it has it's plain and simple as it is a music player it is supposed to be able to show the playlist and show the songs within the playlist so let's get into here I have all the action listeners for this because this is more of an application that uses frames J frames and other objects J tables which is able to have show a visual of the music player so we come into the class here. We have the array for a playlist and the array for songs. So it'll put the different playlist into the array of that and also the array of the songs. We have the J frame. We have some more, um, the default table model and some other good stuff here. This is the buttons that is gonna be added into the file and also here some of the other items. If we come into here, into the music player. This is what adds into the frames and some of the models. Adds in the J table and for songs and the J table for playlist and then creates the arrays for the playlist and songs. Lots of good stuff in here. So let's go to the next part, the main. This is where it actually activates the functions that we've created here. Add music, show GUI, create GUI, add to the GUI and the setup action listeners for clicks that it shows and notices from your mouse or even keyboard clicks. So here it adds in all these functions that we created here. Nice and simple. If we go into add music, this is where it adds music into the array, songs.add, it adds all these songs into the list of the array songs. And we can see here that it has multiple values for the track number, it has the title, the artist, the year, number in seconds, and also the 14 stands for how many times played. So, and then we go down the playlist, same for that. It has how many items are in each one with the date created and modified date. And then we have the different playlist types, like maybe you have rock, indie, R&B, or even like an artist like Eagle, Santana, something else, whatever you guys like. Um, let's go into the GUI. That's nice and simple. It sets the frame to visible. If you go to the create GUI, this is where it actually creates all the data fields and um, the boxes like the add delete button and all the other stuff like the title year duration. These are all different types for our whole program. Here is the table. It shows the artist, the title of the year and it organizes everything within the table. We come down lower over here sets all the details for the table, the role positions, all that good stuff, and keeps going on from there, and then it sets the row sorter and auto creates that for me. So let's put that away. Add data to GUI. This is where it actually adds these playlists and different songs to the actual table that you see visually instead of just displaying it into the array. The action listeners here action listeners to these buttons that are going to be created created that I show you here the button add for the playlist which is the little P at the end all these different sections we have it has validation if you don't hit something correctly and you try to click delete um, it won't delete it it'll say delete error so you gotta make sure you have it over the right thing mouse listeners um, for everything on the tables button adds button adds and more buttons mouse listener again for the other table. So that's really a simple code. I wish I could have did a little bit more to try to get it to work the way I would have liked it to. So let's try and compile this and see what comes out.
Just give it one second. It runs the program. And here we go. Here is our application. It opens this up and it shows all of the songs. This is where the problem occurs, where it doesn't actually, it's not actually showing the individual playlists when I click on them. That's what it's actually supposed to do, but it's not for some reason. Um, I've tried really hard to try to get it fixed, but it's set up to where it can easily be changed. Um, so here we go, it has it's created everything with the times played, duration, you can organize the songs by clicking the upper tab and it organizes everything in a nice fashion, artists, title, years, uh, I'm going to do that all nice, you can even do the items list to the highest date created, but they're all the same for the date created. So let's say I, I can click all these or highlight all of these here, and it'll actually delete one by one. So now these are all rocks. So if I click the rock section and I update that, it'll actually update all these to the, which is the, see so you got a problem here, but it updates everything to three. It's kind of funny. But um, you can actually delete these also with these buttons that I created. And let's say, since I did click the update button, what it'll do is it'll show the date modified, which this can be also changed to a different field just to make it look like the date that it was created. And if we come into here, you can actually add one of the songs. You can add something. You can add, maybe that was song 30. Um, we can add, let's say, song high. We'll do that simple. Um, hello. Or we had a year. Um, 1990, there we go. Minutes, maybe it's 100 seconds, and times played, maybe played it only once. So this will add it straight over to um, our list here. So it's number 20, hi, hello, and it adds that straight up to the data. And if you update it, it'll show that there is five fields into here. The name, you can obviously change the name in the fields here and type in rock if you'd like to, and it updates the date modified and everything else. So whatever you feel like, you'd like to do that. So it's a nice player, and it works somewhat the way it should. I wish I can get a little bit of the uh, playlist to work correctly. But it actually, it's a really nice interface, and it works very well. I just wish um, I can actually get it to play music. That'd be another step in my function that I wish I would have had more time to do, get that working, get a few other things working with the playlist. But being able to get the music to play and kind of make it look like a real music player, that'd be really nice. That's some of the things I wish I would have did. And I went through and showed some of the bugs that occur within this program. And that's really it, guys. I, uh, I forgot to show I have two more sections, a playlist section that has more of the data. This is where I need to edit this out and the song section, which will help me try to create the playlist that shows for, for all the songs. So that's it. Hope everyone enjoyed this video and hope I get a good grade for this on my project. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you in the next one.